A C B D E with A B A B A yeah blah 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 shut up let's just write down what we observe so A B E and C B E are congruent so A B E is over here what is congruent did you even learn German from class man congruent mean equal can't you see that from the signals Oh man, what kind of stupido even wrote this question? He literally wrote the congruent sign with one mark, not two. So, anyway, now we have the other end. So, CBE is also congruent. And ADE is congruent to CDE. So now, first of all, what we are going to do is number one, we realize that AD, ADB and A, ADE are supplementary. Furthermore, furthermore, what? What other two angles are supplementary? Mr. Refatio? What other two angles are supplementary that are not ADB and ADE? Uh, AED and CED. AED and CED. That's not what we're looking for, Mr. Hister. AE and EC. <laughs> And some people sometimes. I'm not even going to respond to that. All you stupidos, including you too in the back. <gasps> um, shut up! I know oh, that's the student CD, you love. CDB and CDE. Finally. Wait. CDE? CDB and CDE. Uh, okay. Finally, someone who's not CDC, the stupido. CDC and CDC, Fauci. Finally, someone who's not stupido. Wait, what did you say? Out of my class anyway now we're number two we like that is it a a d e wait i never said why these are supplementary well are you itching your do, do that in the changing room not here <laughs> okay, so that become so this is uh, for the reason that they are both lined up essentially against BDE. So these two, one two, are both along the line BDE. And these two are both along the line BDE. Wow. So now, number two. ABD, or ADB rather, is congruent to CDB. A bold statement for sure. But why? Well, this is because they are supplementary Two congruent angles. Wow, I have the same level of English as the stupid old boopido who wrote this problem. That was probably you, Max Stupido, over there. So, this is. So ADB and CDB, so they're supplementary to congruent angles and that's why they're congruent. Remember, ADE and CDE are congruent. So let me write these just to show the less congruency. Slow, so, slow, mo. Now we realize that of course BD is equivalent to BD. So that means that 
via uh, SAS or ASA, you have angle side angle, angle side angle. So that means that we know triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CDB via ASA. God knows what would happen if I replaced this A with an S. So now, no, Mr. Max Stupid O, the problem's not done yet. I know you want to go to lunch break. If you keep laughing, the things I will do to you will be unprecedented. <laughs> Three strikes are out. Anyway, now realize that since these angles are congruent and they face opposite sides, these opposite sides must also be congruente. So that's number four. AE is congruent to CE because there are their opposite angles. Their opposite angles are congruent. You see me dance? See, this is better than lunch break. Ah! Anyway, now, shut up! I know you want to go to lunch break. The problem is not done yet. So, now, number Five, number is five. We have SAS, side angle side. So that means, or actually, what we can say is BDE is, BDE is a perpendicular bisector. Why? Well, it's because AE is congruent to CE. Olivite, thank everybody for watching and it is piano time. You guys can go off to lunch break now. You're going to detention, Max Stupido. So anyway. Oh, I'm a sooner bonga. I need to I'll go see.